have an idea. I want to keep making videos, but I want to do it on a more regular basis. Now the only problem with that is I'm not always making new designs. Sometimes I'm making old stuff that you've already seen. Sometimes I'm doing fully custom stuff that isn't necessarily my design. So what I want to start doing is posting shorter videos kind of in between the larger builds where I get into specifics of how I build furniture, the techniques that I use, and kind of the nitty gritty of how I make a piece. It's kind of just a way to keep bringing out good, con hopefully good content and keep that creativity going in between the large builds, which I definitely plan on still doing. So I think it's a good idea, but uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you think it sucks. But um, let's give it a shot so you have an idea of what I have in my mind. Let's, let's start with this tabletop. So here we go. feeling having a table full of new lumber right before you start a big project. I am pretty excited about it. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. So I'm doing a big table build for a restaurant in town. I'm actually doing a few tables for them, a bunch of benches, a bunch of stuff. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to show how I do a big tabletop glue up with my equipment. But as usual, start at the planer. At this point, it's time to straight line all the boards, essentially joint them without the jointer. My jointer is far too small for boards this long, in this case, eight feet. I'm gonna be doing some 10 foot tables later. But essentially all you need is a straight board to reference off of on the table saw. So in my case, I got this piece of MDF and it's 10 feet long, so it's longer than the boards I'm gonna be cutting, which is important. But what I do is I make sure that the concave side of the crook in the board is against the straight edge. Then I measure both of them together set my fence, and then I make my cut. So this gives me one straight line on my board. Then all I have to do is flip it over and cut a straight line on the other side. Sometimes it maybe takes one more pass to the table saw just to clean up that edge, but at this point, I've got straight and essentially jointed boards that fit together well. Now that I have all the boards cut, straight lined, laid out, I like to roughly mark the ends where my tabletop will end, and then from there, I can mark in all, all my domino spots. I think I have six along each joint, and these are doing the same thing biscuits or dowels do, aligning the tabletop, keeping everything flat so there's minimal sanding once, once it's glued up. to first glue in all the dominoes in each board, so that's done. Then all I have to do is put glue in each joint, put the whole tabletop together, and clamp it up. Tabletop is all glued up, nice and flat. Didn't even have to use a jointer. Thumbs up for that. I feel like I need like a catchphrase to end this. Keep your fence 
square and and your saw blades sharp. I'll work on it.